10 seconds of logos also phrenology why did they choose to use phrenology as their logos are they telling us their understanding of psychology is stuck at phrenology therefore this video we often picture students in a classroom Soviet propaganda hall, design CAD stands for technology entertainment and design design are they doing it intentionally two of the main types of learning are called classical conditioning and operant every student of learning starts with non-associative learning in the 1890s yep 1890 Pavlov lived much of his life in Russian Empire, not in Soviet Russia. Russian Revolution began in 1917, so why Soviet propaganda design? When you went to get a shot, the words, this won't hurt a bit, became a conditioned stimulus when they were paired with the pain The Japanese of the shot, Empire flag from World War II. Which was followed by your conditioned response of getting the heck out of there. Ouch, a classic Classical Psych 101 student mistake. Action. So the word, this won't hurt a bit, is a conditioned stimulus. And the pain is the unconditioned stimulus, which is technically not a stimulus. The stimulus in this case is actually a needle. Just like meat, not the taste, is the unconditioned stimulus for Pavlov's dog. If so, the unconditioned response would be pain-related responses, such as muscle contraction, a withdrawal reflex, and increasing heart rate. Therefore, the conditioned response would also be pain-related responses, and not getting a heck out of their response. Just like Pavlov's dog salivated to the bell. It would be quite amusing to see if every human being with a past experience of a shot would get a heck out of every hospital in the world. Whereas you probably see people contracting his or her arm muscle at the time of a shot. That is classical conditioning in action. Operant conditioning explains how consequences lead to changes in voluntary behavior. So how does operant conditioning work? Wait, there is no introduction to B.F. Skinner? You even showed his picture in the beginning of your video. If you don't like Skinner, how about Thorndike? Where is the map of the United States? You did all that for Pavlov, why not for Americans? In fact, most prominent scientists in this field have been Americans. Pavlov was an exception. Shouldn't the artist design based on blue, red, and white instead of Soviet red? Like getting a night of no homework because you did well on an exam. Let's look Does this star look like that of Soviet Union or of Captain America? What is your conditioned response? You clear the table and wash the dishes. When you're done, your mom gives you a big hug and says, Adult man getting an intimate hug from his mother because he put away dishes. In this situation, your mom's response is positive reinforcement. What would Freud say about that? Get the heck out of there. By the way, get the heck out of there is an operant response. One group of scientists showed the power of operant conditioning by teaching pigeons to be art connoisseurs. Scientists have taught pigeons to select paintings by Monet Oops, over those by Picasso. this is an extension of stimulus discrimination, not reinforcement that you have been talking about all along. Japanese Empire Pigeons. Maybe next they'll condition the pigeons to paint their own masterpieces. But how about pigeons playing ping pong? Or rat playing basketball? Or chicken playing piano? <laughs>